family Cetacea contains many charismatic marine mammals that we all know and love, whales and dolphins. The word cetacean comes from the Latin and Greek words for large sea creature or sea monster. And to sailors, I'm sure many of these gentle giants seem to be sea monsters. There are two main groups of cetaceans, mysticetes and odontocetes. Mysticete translates from Greek to mustached whale. These are the baleen whales, like humpback and blue whales. Baleen is made of keratin, the same stuff that's in hair and fingernails, and it's attached to the roof of the whale's mouth. It's arranged in plates, and it's frayed on the inside, making it great for trapping small food. Mysticetes feed by taking large mouthfuls of water containing things like plankton and small fish, and then forcing the water back out through their mouths. Their baleen acts as a strainer, trapping the small food while allowing the water to pass through. Odontocetes are toothed whales. Think of an orthodontist who works with teeth. This group includes dolphins, porpoises, and other toothed whales, such as sperm whales. Odontocetes are very intelligent, and most of them use echolocation to feed. They produce clicks, which travel out to objects and prey, bounce off, and return to the whale and then they are able to create an image in their brains and see their surroundings or their prey. Odontocetes feed on individual animals. They may work together to hunt and feed on schools of prey, but they're still only consuming one animal at a time. Unlike mysticetes, which consume large mouthfuls of prey at a time. Which method do you think is more efficient? I think I know a way we can find out. All right, so Jeff and I are going to race and imitate mysticetes and odontocetes to see which feeding strategy is most efficient. So I'm gonna be an odontocete, and I am only gonna be able to eat one piece of cereal at a time. Jeff's gonna be our mysticete, and he's gonna be able to take mouthfuls of cereal at a time with milk, and he'll have to force the milk out of his mouth before eating his cereal, and we'll see who wins. On your mark, get set, go. <laughs> when the mysticete or baleen whale finished eating, the odontocete or toothed whale still had a lot more food left. The mysticete was able to consume more food in a shorter amount of time. As we could see in our activity, our mysticete had a much more efficient feeding strategy than our odontocete. You can try this at home and see which feeding strategy you find most efficient. 